like that. We're live. Oh, we are. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's this week at Gear Report. That's what we do. We go live. We talk about stuff. So why don't we dive in and start talking about stuff? Okay. Our typical agenda involves uh, diving in to the fabulous list of content that has been published since the last show. And, and I'm stalling because I'm trying to get to this. There we go, man. There we go. It took me a while to find that. Okay, there, so here's the okay. agenda. I want to let you know the agenda, people, because it's important. Number one, it is. we talk about what we published since the last show, which was the same time, the same place last week, one week ago. In that time, we published four articles. Count them. We're going to go over them. Not in a lot of detail. Jeff's stepping his game up now after the old hike. Oh, as far as getting stuff published? Mm-hmm. Dude, I've been slack and I've got I've got five in the queue waiting to be published and uh, a whole bunch of stuff on my own to to write and videos to put out. Oh, we can talk about some of the videos I published, even if I didn't uh, with all the, even if all, I didn't do an article. All the sexy like guns. That. Oh, we can talk about those too. Um, upcoming reviews. That's where the sexy guns come in. Okay. And then we yes, will intersperse the entire program with our customary That's shit shooting segment, which is seven eighths of the program. Sometimes <laughs> hey, you never know. <laughs> Seriously, you just never know. I feel like I'm crooked here. Let me turn my camera. Oh, you look okay. Uh -huh. I can't figure out. I can't figure out how to get the chat to come oh, up a little bit on more. my little thing. <clears throat> the chat? What are you not on your big monitors? I am. If there's I nothing to see here. Right. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe no one has left us any comments yet. What so. the hell? Come on, people. Step up your game. Yeah, really. I mean, I, if, you, if you want to. No pressure. <laughs> well, hey, it's a good reminder to people this is a participatory program. Um, this, this uh, <laughs> I'm not saying it will be boring if you don't leave comments, but we don't know you're there unless you let us know. Speak up if you want us to know you're there. And then, you know, ask your questions. Tell us what you want to talk about. Tell us what's happening in your world, because that's what spices the show up and makes it a whole lot more interesting. Um, while we're waiting on people to get up the nerve to interact with us, because I know it can be intimidating, right? It is. I mean, have you seen that guy? <laughs> Man. Let's see All what right. Whoa. Be. Heads up before you screen share. Screen sharing works best with powerful computers. Okay. I know why it's telling me this. I'm just going to hit the don't show me the warning again. I'm not going to read it. Don't but do it. I'm going to click I understand. Let's proceed because we got things to do. So if we lose but Jeff, if, you, if we lose Jeff, you know what happens. Because when, when everybody else, clicks, stuff, everything shuts off. To, that's something else I wanted to talk about is I want to show you. Um, this oh. is the computer I used the last two weeks. Notice it's not hooked up. Yeah, After up the that? audio fiasco last week, I said, uh, I will resolve this. And uh, the gods of Amazon Vine um, listed another little mini computer that honestly, it looks exactly like this, only instead of mini PC on top, it says Trig Key, T R I G K E Y, like tricky, but Trig Key. And the specs are slightly better as a newer processor. Um, so and you yesterday I installed a new computer and, and fought with it for a couple hours. And I called my dad, who's like the IT guy in the family, and said, man, I have been fighting with this thing. I've got two monitors and they both work, right? So I unplug a computer, I go plug the other, the new one in, and only one of the monitors works. And so then I get the old one and I plug it into the monitor that's not working and it works. I'm like, I don't know what's going on here. So eventually, as part of my process, I unplugged the monitor that wasn't working. And I plugged a different monitor. I actually got, I brought another monitor up here and plugged it in. And it worked. I'm like, I don't, I don't get what's going on. So I plugged the one that wasn't working back in, and then it started working. So fortunately, it's still working. And I'm, if, it, if it ain't broke, really don't fix it. Dude, I don't even know what was going on with it. That's oh, kind of like you know, my... 
my tech work up there? Unplug it and plug it back in. It doesn't work? Okay. Well, I unplugged it, plugged it back in quickly, and I don't think I let it sit long enough. So when I let it sit unplugged for, for five minutes while I had the other one plugged in, um, then when I plugged it back in, it, that seemed to do it. Whatever was messing it up, it got cleared out, and it's worked mm. like a champ since then. So, so I have my two monitors. And in case anyone's wondering, the ATF boo, I just happened to see that in my list of, of pre-populated I banners. I, I actually made that one last So when, when you were gone. I love it. I think it's very appropriate. So I see, and I still can't. So I'm, I'm going to throw it out there. I can, still cannot. There's two comments and I cannot get to them. They won't, it'll come up on my, my screen. What do you mean? So whoever commented, thanks. I can't see it. Maybe Jeff can. About? I, I made a comment. It said, hi, TJ. And you don't see it. So at the bottom, Mine says all except Facebook profile. Is that what yours says? Like for what it shows in the comment stream? No, I have a blank. That whole side is black. I, I hover over the comment or the little bubble and it says hide what? chat. And, huh. I, I, and then I click on the bubble and nothing comes up. And you're not in private, you're in stream. I'm, I don't, I'm in neither, neither one of them comes up. So you click the little chat bubble and it doesn't say stream or private at the top. It's blank. Okay. Well, Jeff, I guess Justin cut me out, everybody. He cut me out of seeing the comments. So here you go. Oh, there there's it is. Comment. What's up gear report firearms. Okay. So there is uh, there's a little something that I did different this time is we're broadcasting on the gear report firearms channel because I need some more longer form content. I have nothing but shorts up there <laughs> and I need some longer form co content on that channel. Win -win. So we're going to start running since we talk about guns and that kind of thing so much, we're going to just run this on the gear report firearms channel for a while. Um, I'm sure they'll kick us off of there at some point, but you know, that's what we're doing for now. So let's dive in and talk about these reviews real quick. This is a, a return of the prodigal son here. Mitch has uh, rejoined us. He, he was gone for, what, a year and a half or so? He didn't write any reviews. He'd pop in and say hi every now and then in comments, but uh, under his alter ego. Uh, yes. So now we have um, Knives by Hand is the company. Their BP-1 kukri knife and this thing looks crazy fancy <laughs> like handmade uh it, it kind of looks like a work of art here yeah i wouldn't want to uh, use it it's very shiny i'm trying to figure out did he list a did he list a price on here i'm actually really curious what this costs i'm i'm gonna click the link here we're gonna we're going to see if we can find this because I'm actually pretty curious what a knife like this costs. $169. Hmm. Not bad. And, man, it's a gorgeous knife, really. I, I am cheap. I don't like to pay that much for anything. But it <laughs> looks like a it looks like a beast, actually. I think that's probably a pretty fair price for it, looking at all the hand craftsmanship a lot of metal. and how heavy and everything it is. So yeah that that's interesting go check them out you see you saw the link i clicked knives by hand where to buy a kukri knife uh uh is that how you say it kukri i don't know i'm not remember i'm not the knife I'm, I'm just diving into the world of knives gotcha all right maybe i can task you with something because um we are seeing a little bit of weirdness i'm seeing a little bit of weirdness here on the back end of the show. And I'm curious if we're streaming everywhere, uh, like on we're supposed to be streaming on Facebook, for example. If you don't um, mind, can you like pull your phone up and check and make sure we're actually no, that's streaming? What there? That's what I'm doing right now. Not here that it is. there's necessarily anything I can do about it either way, but I'm not seeing. This is we're live in, on Facebook. Okay, good. Maybe, maybe but, we are. Good. Hold on. Let me see on, on, uh, on the YouTube. We should be on the Gear Report Firearms, not the main Gear Report channel. Maybe that's a problem, is people are used to seeing us on the Gear Report channel. 
Mm -hmm. But since I switched to gear report firearms and didn't warn anyone up front, so here's a tactical <laughs> error on my part. I just changed it. People should know. They'll find us. Yeah. Okay. In the meantime, while you're checking into that, I'm going to keep going through the recently published articles. And, and we are, I'm starting to see some p people filter in. We're um, figuring it out. out. I can't see. I thought I could like hover over how many people are watching and see where they're coming from. It's not showing me that today. So if you're out there, please leave a comment. Let us know you're there. Um, so on the screen, we see an article that I, um, it's actually, a, a, it's an article that has a video with it. And in this video, I go through my pack from the latest Philmont backpack and trek and talk about how things are organized in the pack so that um oh someone typed hi using the gear report <laughs> firearms account that's kind of bizarre that um was, that was me yeah so so in this article if if you do any kind of backpacking this will help you figure out how to be more efficient when you're on the trail so you're not always tearing everything out of your pack to get to that one thing and it really comes down to things like pack it in the opposite order of when you expect to need it. Like if you don't need to have your sleeping bag on top of your right. tent because you got to get your tent out and put it up before you need to get your sleeping bag out. So put Take the everything sleeping out. bag at the very bottom. That's an example of the type of stuff in there. It, it's a neat video. It's like 12 or 13 minutes. It's I, I edited and edited and edited. Man, this thing, I've got hours in that. Are you hearing the audio on this? Yeah, barely. And, and that's fine. I would ask if anyone checks this out, leave a comment on what you think, because I really tried to spice that up and keep a lot of action because that video is me sitting on the tailgate of the Humvee going through my backpack. And that by itself could be kind of boring. I tried to have like every 10 seconds, no, no more than five or 10 seconds of me sitting there and lots of action, different things happening on the screen. So I'd love some feedback on that. Even if you don't backpack, I'd love some feedback on how the video editing looks on that. Uh, now this one I think could be exciting to some people because I've tried to solve a problem. I took an article that is in the private gear report writers forum uh, on you know, please use these targets when you film um, uh, or when you when you take pictures or do video for gun reviews for gear report. I, I took those links and dropped them all. So these are the official targets that all of the gear report team use when they do gun reviews. Uh, and you can see some of the images here. That's uh, Bob Bart. He actually printed that one in color. That's that that looks better than I thought it would even. That's pretty cool. I made that target and I made it in color, but I've never actually used it in color. So, um, cause I don't have a color printer. So, uh, that, that's nice to see how well that, that turned out. We got a bunch Already. of different targets in here for different uses. I like, I wanted to show this one cause it's kind of neat. It's a game, uh, using images of clays like you would shoot with a shotgun and you get different points based on, um, how big they are. So, you know, figure you're doing that uh, 15 feet with a handgun. So five yards with, with a handgun. And this is on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. That's going to be kind of challenging um, to hit with any accuracy. Um, you could probably just kind of shoot at the target and hit something. But there's a lot of space. There's a lot of white space there with no uh, targets on it as well. So I would you, demolish that stuff. What's that? I would demolish all that white space. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. So we got a bunch of targets. That's like a game to get, like a, a fun target. And I like, um, like, here's one that is set up with these diamonds. I tried to f squeeze as many as I could on the paper, and it looks a little unsymmetrical but that's that was how i could fit the most on was by shifting them around a little bit 
So you have like a big aiming diamond and then your grid in the center so that uh, if you're dialing in a scope, you have quarter inch increments that you can use to dial it in with the one inch circle with a little half inch white circle in the middle. Yeah, so yeah. there are various targets of different types. And I highly encourage folks, download them, print them. You can even use the, um, the little section at the bottom to record some information on who's doing the shooting, what the date is, distance, location, the gun, the ammo, uh, which can be helpful, especially if you got multiple guns and you can't remember, you know, where was this sighted in last time I shot it? Take your targets back, put them in a file for that gun, and you can pull it out and go, oh, okay, last time I shot this, what it was. And that uh, I've had to do that a few times. So, so there you go, free printable targets. Go check them out. And then this one. This one has been very well received. I actually expected this to get me some hate because it is, in this article, I was Give it time. Blunt calling out, calling out um, telling a story about a parent that basically sabotaged their kid on a on a 12 day, you know, 80 mile backpacking trip by putting all sorts of extra stuff in this kid's pack. Like the kid was already out of shape and ill-equipped for this trip to begin with. And then mama went in and I pulled at least 25 pounds of stuff out of this kid's pack and could have pulled more out. And, um, and it was purely on the shoulders of mama who had gone in and uh just you know it, we call it packing your fears where well i might need this or might need that so the, you end up just throwing more and more stuff in and next thing you know the pack is so crazy heavy that um that it's really kind of unbearable and for this kid who was out of shape and wasn't prepared for the for this trip at all to begin with it made it that much worse. So, um, so this is really a cautionary tale aimed at our, uh, our Philmont Trek Talk group on Facebook to help people understand and see the signs of this so they can head it off at the pass because it ruined, it ruined one day for like probably 12 or 13 crews that were all staying at one camp and didn't get to do some uh, lumberjack stuff, some spar, spar pole climbing, some other activities because people were tied up on a medical call for this, for this mama's son who just sat down in the middle of the trail and said he wasn't going anymore. So uh, it, it was a very, very bad situation and very preventable. So the idea with this is to help people help encourage them to nip that kind of thing in the bud before they get out on the trail and not after. And that article has actually done pretty good. Uh, I mean, not great. It's had uh, a few hundred views more than I had expected at this till point. That, so till that mama reads it. I really don't <laughs> care. I hope she reads it. I hope she knows that I'm talking about her because this was embarrassing. Really? Yeah. The woman told me to my face, oh, no, I understand why parents can't pack their kids' bags and why that's bad. And I would never do that. And then she absolutely did it. And she set her son up to be absolutely miserable by putting all this spare stuff in his bag. It was absolutely crazy. Um, all right. So I don't want to take down the ATF boo, but I'll just show real quick. Upcoming reviews. Um we're, we're going to have some interesting stuff. Um, I already closed the, uh, the window where I, where I have the different articles that are in the queue. I know we've got a couple AK-47 accessories. We've got Ooh. a pistol in the queue. There are a few. There are five articles. I can't remember what, what some of the other ones were. But hopefully all five of those will get published before the show next week. And then some other things I'm going to be playing with. This just showed up two days ago, I think, a wearable, hands-free POV camera. Um, and it says right. 
this gimbal stabilizer, I've got to figure out how the stabilization works because I hadn't figured that out yet. Uh, but, and I haven't really played with, I, I charged, I turned it on, made sure it worked, linked it with the app, everything worked fine. So I was like, hmm, now I don't know what to do with it. Like just sitting around the office. So I'm going to wait till I go out somewhere. Run around the house with it. And I'll take, no, I have too much stuff. I don't want people to see. <laughs> Let's go, go shopping with it. I could. I'll, I'll do something. I'll go drive the Humvee around while I'm waiting. Yeah. Something. But anyhow, that's something that, that will be coming is more video shot with that. Um, should, should be a pretty good camera, 4k 60 frames per second. Um, stabilized footage uh, from, a, from a real hands-free POV standpoint. It, that should be pretty neat. I'm kind of excited about that. Um, oh, I didn't, I was going to bring it over here. Well, you can see the picture. Everyone mm -hmm. loves backpacking trails. What, what's another name we could use to, to identify this? What is it? What do you think that's used for? It's a spork. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, I, I did publish a picture once of a friend using one of these, uh, and he had food on it, was about to put it in his mouth, and people went completely nuts because this is a poo shovel. Like, if, if you're backpacking and you got to go, you got to go off in the woods and dig your hole. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a titanium ultralight shovel for digging a hole to poop in, basically. All right. And, you know, so in his defense, that shovel was brand new, had never been used. He had actually washed it before he brought it out, uh, just so that he could use it to eat because he thought it'd be funny. He's like, Here, take my picture, uh, take my picture using the poo spoon. I was like, uh, All right, Randy, that's kind of weird, but if that's what you want, um, but I'm disappointed in this, uh, it may not get a full review because it weighs like one and a half ounces yeah and the one that i've been carrying weighs 0.6 of an ounce <laughs> so it's like it, well you, it, you could use it as a weapon as well apparently it weighs almost three times as much it's almost identical in size it's uh, i mean it's titanium and it does have saw teeth on the side uh, and it's slightly slightly larger but it weighs three times as much. So I, I don't know, maybe I'll sell it or give it away or something. There you go. I don't need to watch it. You would like a titanium poo shovel. <laughs> I'll leave a comment. Oh, I'll, I'll make 30 comments. I just, I've been looking for a poo shovel. That's what I needed. Ever. It doesn't, everybody needs a poo shovel. Yeah. And I mean, in, in defense of this particular poo shovel, I will say, that the one that I've been using that is 0.6 of an ounce. Yeah. Um, it's crazy. Like most people carry a big plastic thing that probably weighs six ounces. So this, you know, a little over one and a half ounces is still pretty good. Or maybe right around one and a half ounces is still pretty impressive. It's still pretty cooler. good. And it's titanium alloy. It is really strong. It doesn't flex as much as the other one does. You can cut through um, some roots with it. But, well, I think that's probably the idea, but this one has got, this one's probably got 300 miles of backpacking. Um, it's got some holes, Doug. And it has dug some holes and it still looks damn near new. Um, I, I just, yeah, I doubt the other one is even going to get used. So, <laughs> yeah, if it would make your day to be the recipient of a new poo spoon or backpacking oh. trowel. Leave a comment. We'll see if we can make that happen. There you go. Just a little review on it. Good to go. Yeah. Yeah, I already wrote the review that basically said, I'm disappointed. It's heavier than it should Too be. Too heavy. Yeah. So I may, uh, it depends on how lively the discussion gets and what we have to talk about. I may go through this, which is... Um, Royal Plus Combat Uniforms is the company... And it's uh, what do they call it? A fast helmet. I don't. Does that mean something? Is that like F A S T? Is that an acronym? No idea. I don't know. It's not, uh, not a military guy. It's got the um, the mount for a night vision, 
Nice. And then it's got the side mounts if you have like uh, a headset or a flashlight or any other accessories you want to POV camera. Oh, a POV camera. Crazy. Oh, that's so exciting. <laughs> yeah. I haven't even put it on yet. I uh, I took it out of the box and brought it up here and I, I put it over um, in the gun room. I had to run and get it right before the show started. Um, it was sitting on my pickleball bag full of guns. Uh, and I haven't even attempted to put it on and see if it fits or anything. Oh, yeah. That is crazy uncomfortable. <laughs> there, there is an adjustment that needs say, to be made. You look here. like you're ready to go on a bicycle ride through the mountain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, on a, on a bicycle made for yeah. two. Everybody loves those bicycles. Yeah. So... Um, I actually have wanted one of these for quite a while um, to wear in the Humvee just to complete the look, like if I'm driving in a parade or something to make yeah. it look better. I really wanted a desert tan one. Uh, let's see, other side pad. There it is. Um, I wanted a desert tan one, but when this one popped up on Amazon Vine as a reviewable item, it was only oh. black. And I said, oh, I don't really want a black one. Black's going to be hotter in the sun. Oh, that's better. Yeah, switching out those pads helped a bit. There you go. Oh, yeah. Uh, and I get to go play with the Green Berets next week. So Tactical Jeff. There we fun. go. Yeah. Uh, so last time I did that, I've only, I've only gone to the Green Beret training thing, the Robin Sage thing once. And yeah. my friend Lars... Um, they had Lars and I go and take our Humvees to drive around. So, so they literally, I get text messages from the, the, one of the army green beret trainers saying, Hey, we need gun truck support. Are you available? So I am, I am one of the gun truck support there guys apparently, but, um, Lars wore body armor and a fast helmet like this when he was driving around and I didn't, and I couldn't decide if I was underdressed or if I was appropriately dressed. I don't know if he was Apparently overdoing you were it. I was underdoing it. I don't know, mm -hmm. but, um, I still doubt that I will actually take body armor to wear because it just looks uncomfortable and we're yeah, only, you could be out there for hours. Oh yeah. And, and they're firing, uh, blanks. So, you know, in theory, I would only want to wear body armor if there were like real bullets flying. And since I have an expectation of not having real bullets flying, I don't know that I want to go through the hassle because they don't care. They just want my truck. They just want me to right. drive the truck around and uh to bring the right gun like, mounts we really just want the truck and but jeff has to drive it so that's yeah. what we get ah here we go see we're getting go. dialed in fantastic look at that yeah you just need stuff on it yeah um so yeah. it's got this cover you need a gear report sticker on it that's that it has black multicam or something resembling black multicam and a bunch of, of uh patch panels Oh, yeah, I got to figure out how to put this on. And uh, I actually had my my spare patches laying over there beside it. I forgot to bring them over. All five of them. Yeah. Yeah. So you know what? I, you know what I realized. I, I feel bad. I've I've got like three patches. Yeah. Yeah, I know. You want me to send you one back? No. <laughs> No, no. Because then you're going to expect me to pay postage. Just bring it with you. Oh. <laughs> Down to two patches now. Yeah. So, um, I don't know why people make fun of me about the patches. I mean, I only got 100 patches. And, uh, I know. And, and it, it, I feel like I'm just being practical that most people don't really care. So I want to wait and give them to people who are actually going to care and use them. And since I don't know who that is, I tend to just keep them. Right. You're like, all right, you bought me a drink. You've earned a patch. Oh, yo, yo, yo. 
that that is um that is an impressive number of years i mean i gotta be honest you can tell someone's been paying attention i know yeah i like that all right she's trained, she's trained. yeah <laughs> yeah so i'm not even sure what this cover is for on here but i'm putting it on yeah. because it came with it you put uh, patches on it now yeah Ooh, man this is fancy so get the bougie helmet these are crazy expensive right like the real ones yeah the, the ballistic helmets like this oh yeah hundreds of dollars maybe even pushing like up towards a thousand or more really this ain't, this ain't one of those this is the decorative airsoft the version. Bicy the bicycle helmet with. That looks the part. And honestly. Tactical bicycle helmet. It kind of feels the part. Like, I assume it's just a thick piece of plastic with absolutely no ballistic protection at all. But it feels about the right weight and the right finish for a real ballistic helmet. So Cool. Since, you'll, have the, you'll have the right look. That's what it's yeah. about. And that's all I really care about because you know my sincere hope is that there are not real bullets flying. If there are, then you know this thing's going to be useless anyway. I don't even know where those things are supposed to go. Like there are these big things sticking off of it. I don't, I don't know where they go. But, all right. But for gets, now, everybody gets to watch Jeff fail at assembling a. Tactical yeah. helmet. See, look how cool that looks. Yeah. Even with the spare piece hanging off. <laughs> and then um and then I'll get the patches. And then it'll really look cool. Then it'll look then it'll look like something. Yeah. You gotta have the patches on it. Yeah. So um anyhow, this is really just for fun. It's it's sold as an airsoft helmet and Put that screen back up here. Tax Snake Tactical Airsoft Paintball Fast Helmet. And he's like, that's the, the one I wanted. Cover. PJ type tactical multifunction protective MVG mount for multicam military sports hunting shooting. I really love how adventurous they are with semi structure <laughs> there. I think that, that that was pretty impressive. All right, so we'll put a. They had to cover uh, all the bases. Oh, that absolutely. They, if, that they think it's going to work on. Yep. Yep. Punctuation be damned. All right. So military sports hunting shooting is kind of. Uh, oh yeah. So there. There you go. Got, Boom. Now, man, see, I'm I am primed to get all patched up because I've got yep. my patch wall back here, with uh, with Papa sitting on my shoulder. See, if I sit just right, it's like I got the devil on my he, shoulder. He parked. He parked the car on your shoulder. Here. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's the Bonnie. The so, Bonnie. Um, which I believe he sold the Bonneville. Mm, I think yeah. he gave up on it and sold it. Really troubled that I don't know where these go. Um, it's upsetting anyhow, me, too. I mean. Yeah, I think it looks pretty jazzy. And, I like it. Uh, and I'm wondering. Oh, I don't think any of my night vision stuff will actually mount on there, though. I mean, so you, get, you got floor floor night vision over there instead of floor guns. Yeah, um, I got floor couple, nods. I got a couple of floor night visions. <laughs> floor <laughs> nods, floor thermal laying around. I, just, I keep yeah. tripping over them everywhere. Dude, I'm telling you, my office is a friggin' adventure. It is you never know what you're gonna right. find up here, like at all, really. Like I never know. It's my well, office. Listen, I, I, I can I can tell you one thing. I know there's going to be guitars up there. Uh, well, yeah. I gave you a peek behind the curtain. I know. And uh, there's a lot of guitars, and they're well organized, though. I like that part. They are now. Yeah. Yeah. Before yeah. was it just a pile? Um. At, at one point, there were a lot of floor stands, and the floor stands, the. You yeah. know, they work, but they're kind of in the way. So Yeah, they take up a lot of room. I've got most of them either on the wall or in, in a big floor rack. And, um, yeah, I feel pretty good about it now. All right. So I'm happy. I've got my fake 
military helmet that I can wear so I can look cool. Or at least I can leave it sitting. Probably more than anything, I'll leave it in the truck when I go to car shows so it'll look like I'm using a military helmet. There you uh, go. For some reason. And I may even put some body armor or a plate carrier or something with it for display purposes. Oh, wow. And it's got all kinds of little little slider fitting things that I guess go in these little tracks. But don't even know what they're for. But I shall at some point potentially try to figure that out. He's like, or I'm going to do it right now. Yeah, it's a little too confusing for me. So I'm just going to put Get it down. The directions out, damn it. Step away from the helmet. Yeah, yeah. Not, I know, because you know what's going to happen? You're going to sit here for an hour trying to figure that crap out. Yeah. With um, everybody watching. Yeah. Well, you know. The tens of people time. watching. Why can't I find you guys on YouTube? Oh, uh, okay. So maybe I should post a link. I told to her. YouTube, Gear Report Firearms. You load now. Come on, slow web page. Yeah. We got, we got places to go, things to do, people to insult. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that what you're seeing is the effect of three teenagers and a wife all streaming stuff at the same time while we're broadcasting. Okay. Mm. So this is where you will find it. You see the little live indication there. Um, Gear Report Firearms is the channel that you need to search for. And uh, and we were talking about that a few minutes ago that I neglected to mention to anyone that I was going to broadcast this on Gear Report Firearms and not on the Gear Report, not on the main Gear Report channel. Right. So I will, let me see here. But let me see, let me see if it comes up. I see I'm on, I'm on the tube now. Let's see if it comes up. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I I just want to share the link. Is all I'm trying to do here. I want to copy the link. I'm afraid it's gonna like mess things up because it's taking too much bandwidth. Mm. Here. There we go. Copy, and I'm gonna close that before it wrecks something. I'm gonna paste that in the comments here. And oh, no, I'm not. There we go. That's gonna work. Yep. So it would help out if you go watch it there on the Gear Report Firearms channel because we need to build watch time and viewership and all that because I am dying to make that those tens of dollars in monthly revenue that YouTube provides to people who run channels. Add-on compatible. They really went out. They, they outdid themselves on their spelling for the Amazon listing here. Add-on compatible. Yep. Easy to use. Yeah, there you go. Yep. Uh, nine piece of plastic. Just look at the, just look at the pictures and you can figure it all out, see? That's what I was That's hoping. I but yeah. Yeah, maybe not. Okay. Well... <laughs> That's enough of that. Yeah. All right. And we're back. And I did want to, I was going to give a little preview of something else. Let me see if I can figure out how to do this. All right. If, I so, you know, if, if he ever vanishes or we vanish, it's because Jeff was like, <laughs> yeah, let me see if I can do this. And then poof, gone. Oh, interesting. So this is offering me the opportunity to play a video directly. So I just need to come in here and tell it which video. 
have to get a longer headset cord. Well, that's not going to work, so I will do it. That, and then I'll share a I'll share the screen. And I will share that screen again. In theory. There we go. No, this is that. what I set up and I was playing with. I'm I'm not really thrilled with the lighting. I'm trying to get it dialed. <laughs> it looks like claymation, dude. Well, yeah, it's a little jumpy on the on the broadcast. But the lighting um, makes it look a hair off. I mean, it's still it's still sexy as hell, but it still looks like a hair off. I think the light was a little too bright, a little too close. I need to either back it away or dim it or something. But um, but anyhow, that's something I was playing with uh, today. Was using the the automated the motorized uh, rotator. Yeah. And attempting to get. Um, I need to get one of those. Those look awesome. Everybody else does those things. Yeah, that's what I want. I need to get put that on my list. If, if, if you see that, that, if you see that on Vine. Yeah, you need one. You hear the dogs. Somebody must be here. Mm. So, so anyhow, I I think that looks okay, and that'll be useful for some B roll. I think. Uh, I want to get to the to the yeah, video the, for that. And it yeah, doesn't that turned, look that turned out good. That one looks good. Yeah. Um, but but I still want to mess with the lighting a little bit. See if I can yeah. get that dialed in a little better. And um, yeah. That looks good. I like that. I love the the whole turny, turny disc. So, so what I want to figure out next is the kind of the flyby, a smooth kind of going across from one side to the other. This is rotating. Right. I want one where um, I want one where you know the gun's sitting here and the camera just kind of smoothly goes past it without any kind of motion from where your hands are. Um, and I hadn't figured that one out yet. Like they make sliders and things. You right. put your yeah, camera I was going to say, it's going to have to be on a, on a slider and just slide the camera by or, yeah. or get like what a I, giant, a giant disc. And then, you know, then you can swing the product by real smooth and, and you know, it won't be as drastic of a, a turn, put it on the outside of the disc. It's an interesting idea. I yeah, could take good. the motorized turntable yeah. and put something larger on right. it so that I can get it out and further. Put it, put it on the very out. outside of it to where you can, uh -huh. it'll just, it'll, it'll, you know, it'll combine just a little bit of a turn, but not much of a turn. Yeah. Yeah. That could work. Something that I tried oh, before, uh, something else I tried before was putting the camera, like I'd go out in the garage where the, the pavement is smooth and put the camera on a skateboard and then just gently roll it past yeah. whatever the product is. And I've got some ideas on how I might what make What was that. that product and who was it by? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to watch for it on mine now. I'm talking the one we just saw. Oh, the, the pistol? The AR, the, the, um, the Maxim. So that is the AREX Zero. That's AREX Zero. Yes. Right. Yeah. And then I had the um, the Maxim PDX in 300 Blackout. Mm -hmm. That's it. That is a sexy little beast. That is. Uh, you know what I, what I, and something else I want to do is I think the rotator that I have is large enough that I think I can put two or three of that size kind of PDW on it. And I think that I'm going to do the Maxim, the PDX and MD9. And I might even mix the Sig Rattler in there as well just for kicks yeah. because this beside the sick rattler those they're both i love the maxim i think oh, it yeah. is a higher end work of art but oh, that I rattler agree. before i got the maxim the rattler was my favorite little pdw you're biased yep. 
Vine? No, no, you don't find those on Vine. I'm sorry. Come That'd on. Be nice. <laughs> I'm going to keep looking though, just in case. One and day. This one, this one wouldn't stand up. So I've got to find a better way to stand up. That's the um, Grand Power the P40L Grand Power. 10 millimeter, and that actually I think doesn't look too bad. No. And it is smoother. Like it looks jumpy on the broadcast, but it is actually smoother. Uh, you'll see when the real video gets uploaded. Uh, but I'd work on how to stage that one a little better. And I think this is probably, yeah, the MD9. And I think that we're losing Sexy. a little bit of the screen here at the bottom where the, um, yeah, where it's I just being that. covered up. Right. Yeah, I, the that looks, one looks a little the, the lighting looks lighting. a little better on that one, yeah. You get that shadow when it comes around, but other than that, the lighting looks way better. It doesn't look like a claymation gun. Full screen. Oh, oh. everything Maxim makes is just sexy looking. It's all Yeah, I thought the I thought I had that a little bit lower. So you could see like the full pistol grip and everything. So I'm, mm. so again, this this was just me playing, um, trying to get the lighting right, trying to I like, like I had I had the turntable sitting on my guitar studio bench. Uh, it's a little stool rather with the guitar rack in the background. Did it and fall over at any time? The no, and then the camera was actually at the far end of the room, like at the top of the stairs where I'm sitting on the stairs and the camera was sitting on a guitar amp just to get it at the right height. And uh, that let me zoom in all the way so I could get a blurry background, which I thought looked cool. Yeah. So yeah, you gotta have the blur uh, you gotta have the blurry I gotta work, background. I gotta work on the lighting. I gotta stage some more lights around it. All right, so those are things that I am working on here. And let's see, so this weekend, I will probably, in I'll, I'll have to work on the truck a little bit because I go out with the Green Beret training class on Tuesday as, uh, and I just like saying that because it makes it sound like, you know, they value me for my ability to train special forces people. Um, they do. But, but no, <laughs> not remotely. It's a, it a full truck, and I'm willing to drive it for almost nothing. Like, they're going to give me some diesel fuel this time. That's, that's like liquid gold. Yeah. I take it. Yeah, but, but the idea is they probably won't give me as much as I burn just to get there and back. So we shall see. But yeah. Uh, I need to take some cans with me so I can fill up. Uh, but anyhow, so I have a. Um, you don't want to run out. I could show. Let me bring this back up. Something that I'm going to put in the Humvee. And let's see. We will use. Yeah, we'll just use photos to look at that. See, it's the brand new computer. Um, Every time I open something new, it's like the first time that app's ever been opened. So it has to go through all the settings. This is a carbon fiber panel that has been cut with the uh, Molly. The uh, I don't remember what that acronym is, but it's where you can attach. Um, it's like web gear stuff where you can attach bags. Uh, pouches, holsters, any kind of stuff. So this is a carbon fiber molly panel that I will attach to a prom. It was going to be attached to a seat back. It may end up getting attached somewhere else, but it will go in the Humvee somewhere so that we yeah. can put um, pouches with stuff, you know, med kits or water bottles or tourniquets or whatever kind of stuff we want to hang on it. So that's going to go in the Humvee um, probably sometime over the weekend. So that'll be ready when I go with the, uh, for, to the Robin Sage Army exercise. And then um, 
I've got some other parts I need to install to get the truck ready for that. And then we have a, the car show next weekend. So, uh, so nice. everything will be ready to go for that. Hopefully. Is he busy? Yeah. Um, oh, bring that back over here so I can put that back on the screen. This is the full kit that showed up. It's got that panel and then a bunch of straps to attach it to the seat and then a pouch and some other like bungee cord things to attach yeah. stuff to it. Well, I've got a whole bunch of different Molly type pouches that'll go on there for all sorts of different uh, configurations. And let's see the other thing. I don't remember if I showed these or not, but I have been continuing my quest to get every throwable tomahawk hatchet that they make available <laughs> on Amazon Vine. There you go. Uh, they they go up, and I'm like, yes, please. Um, so I got two different kinds a week or three ago. Ooh. And uh, good throws. These little ones are hard to throw. Yeah, the bigger uh, the big ones are easy. Big one has got some weight. Yeah. And it's balanced. Uh, maybe it's unbalanced. I don't know if that's what it is. But Usually it top heavy. and sticks pretty easy. Yeah. And then these little, they, these look bigger than they are. They're like 10 or 12 inches, but that's not big. And they're just a piece of sheet metal that, that's sharp as heck, but it's... Uh, they don't feel the same when you throw them. So your neighbor's fence is really taking a beating, isn't it? Yeah, shouldn't have put it <laughs> at the edge yeah. of my yard. Should have made it of wood. Yeah, yeah. Which is funny. I need to give that back. That belongs to Jose Juan. So um, he had that in his backyard, and he let me use it when I got my first batch of uh, um, of tomahawks. The tomahawks. And I just never gave it back. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, People. there it is. Look at the organizational yeah, so skills. Of I Jeff. just put this. Um, I just put this guitar rack to hold five up on the wall and put it behind my rack of uh, ten. And then you see my big uh, motorized turntable back there that I put stuff on. Um, so I thought I would share that with you guys. And then I thought there was one other thing that I thought, ah, oh, maybe the audience would be interested in that. I'm looking Make sure at the it's pictures. the right photo. Don't put the wrong one up there. Yeah, uh, you know. We get to see them all, though. I mean, we're looking at everything you have right here. Yeah, I know. We are <laughs> so little. but I don't remember look and i'm like no it wasn't that it wasn't that um i will oh i see what it was yep i have to come back to it because i already clicked um this is a raised ventilated bed for the laser engraver so uh -huh. um, i need to fire that up so another thing that i did in my office is put a uh, i changed the air conditioning system so that impacts how I run the engraver because I have to vent the exhaust outside. So there is a new air conditioner sitting where it used to vent. So I have to figure out a different way to vent before I can use this. But I've got a whole bunch of different wood items waiting to be engraved. I just have to get that set up the new way now. And I, I knew there was a reason I was stalling here. And that is... Um, I got a sign, a blank sign. So I need comments. I need help figuring out what do I cut with the vinyl cutter to put on this to make, you know, to turn this into like a real sign that says like, something. Like, like the sign I have in my kitchen, drunks at play. <laughs> it could be, <laughs> yeah. Um, but I figured this was an opportunity to make a custom, probably mm -hmm. something gear report related. Who knows? I would assume so. I mean... Or maybe I'll just cut ACDC and put it on there. Oh, there you go. My rock and roll sign. Or or my latest uh, my latest favorite band. Have I told you who that was? Oh, I think my so. My latest favorite band? Mm -hmm. The Darkness. 
Yes, the darkness. They're rather entertaining. <laughs> so I, I may just write the darkness on this. Who knows? But uh, chances are it will be a Gear Report logo of some sort. Gear Report headquarters, something. We'll hang it up on our... Caution, you know, Gear uh, Report at play. Hmm, that could work. Yeah, leave a comment if you have any other ideas. I feel so much shorter than you right here like this. Yeah, well, this is but, how I established dominance as I, uh, I I know, but but I've got the I've got the instead of the halo, I've this. got the I've got the the hat. Yeah. Of the gear report hat, see. Hmm? You have gear report over I moved, I moved the camera. camera. What's, What's uh, that? Oh, is that a frog bones hat? Frog bones hat. Yeah, yeah. But but now I've got the logo above my head instead of me being like right in front of it. Until Frog Bones becomes an official sponsor of Gear Report, <laughs> then I really don't have much use for you wearing their hat. All right, I gotta change. All right, I'll, I'll talk to well, you. I'm not telling you have to. I'm saying I don't have much use for it. I think you know maybe I'm just planting the seed. Hey, Frog Bones people. There you go. As much publicity as he gives you. Maybe you ought to think about becoming a show sponsor. I, li I link them in all the reviews. Like every written review, there's a link in there. My local gun shop. Fox. Yeah. 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 Um, all right. So we're bumping up on an hour. What else were Whoa. we talking about? Oh, well, I know I threw, I threw one in the queue for uh, publishing. Yeah. And what's for that? the publisher. What's that? And what is the... The, the CSR 556 from Wolfpack oh, Armory. Right. Yes. Yeah. I threw that in there. The saltwater arm ones is, is coming in right behind it. So, awesome. and, then, uh, that, and that's the ARs out of the way. And then I'm going to hit the, the DBG and the DB nine. Do my little, my little compact pistols, the little fellers. Nice. Yeah. And then I got, I've got some, some cases from Cedar mill that I'm trying. So AJ sent these. And I'm I'm trying to like write what they are. See how small that is. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> and I'm like this. I'm like, I mean, I. So I'm gonna, right, I'm hold, gonna hold it up. We'll we'll tell you what it is. I think it can focus. No, pull it pull it back a little bit. One more, one more. See your camera is. It, it, you can tell it's your camera. It needs longer arms too. Right. Yeah. Now, now well, it's starting me. to get focus, but it's too oh, slow. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Yeah. That ain't that ain't gonna happen. Right. So I'm like, I'm like, I get, I have to get, I got a pair of cheaters. I'm gonna use, and I'll, I can type those up. I get all, already did the pictures, and I've got everything figured out. So. So, uh, Honcho Ooh, Fett Honcho mentions Fett. submission of two articles. Uh, we already talked about one of those articles uh, early the in the show. Before he found us on the on the alternate gear report firearms channel, it was a slight oversight in the that I never bothered to announce to anyone that we were switching to. It wasn't on the so, so it wasn't on the channel. it wasn't on the link. Um, it on was, the, but you know, Facebook. I know. Usually, notifications come up. Ding. Oh, Rona kids. Well, I hope they're doing okay. <laughs> Rona kids. Yeah. 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 And um, yeah, so uh, the big knife got published and there's another one still in the that's queue. That's not a knife. Yeah. That's a, oh, it, that's a beast of a knife. I'm, I, it was rather impressive. Okay. So uh, I think we have some exciting stuff coming up. We have lots of firearms in the queue that should be published here shortly. Knives, guns. I keep and some getting, optics. I got some optics I from Everlight too. Yeah, I and you keep have, getting. You have an optic too. I keep getting camping gear. I've got tons of. You had to camping, go camping. Like field footage stuff, um, Humvee content that I've got to get working on here shortly. Guitar stuff, you know, I stuff I didn't even mention. Um, like I've got some uh, kind of high end ish guitar pedals that are in the review queue that I'm playing with, you know, that's like $180 pedal right there. Ooh. And, uh, and I've got, I just sold like 30 guitar pedals 
that I was already done reviewing and I've got the pedal boards looking kind of full right now. Um, and I've got more sitting on the side. So lots, lots of cool guitar stuff, lots of camping stuff, um, like this, uh, rain fly that stayed up in the yard for a week to make sure it was going to hold up and do okay. And it did awesome. So there I just go. packed that this morning. So all sorts of stuff. And there's stuff coming every which direction here. Um, so who, who knows what will get published first or when, but we've got a steady <laughs> whatever, stream. Whatever Jeff's in the mood quality. for when he wakes up. Uh, well, yeah. Yeah, when I can't sleep and I wake up at like 5 o'clock and I'm like, well, crap. I may as well get up. So I get do. some work done. Come, come in, do some gear report stuff. Yep. yep Chris was like, yep. what are you doing? I was like, I'm editing photos. Leave me alone. <laughs> yeah. So... Um, I am warning gearhead crossing. That could work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, like that, that, that could work. There, there's real potential in that idea. Um, okay, I'm going to show one more picture just because I think you'll you will be entertained by it. Oh, will I? Okay, as long as I'm entertained, that's not I mean, that's... not incredibly entertained, mildly entertained, because you think it's funny when I do like car camping. I have mm -hmm. a hatchback tent where I can drive the Prius somewhere, pop the hatch open in the back, put a tent up that wraps all the way around and turns the I've whole back tent into a tent. And the yeah. problem is people can see in the front windshield. So uh, I got these curtains that you put up between the two front windows and then, um, you know, people can see in. You have a, a little, little velcro thing in the middle so you can open it up if you want to you know flash people or whatever nice. it is that you choose to do when you're camping i mean i'm not gonna judge other people um you know i do what i do you do what you do right yeah so anyhow i i thought you might get a kick out of that but it yeah. can work in the van as well because sometimes i use the big uh conversion van when we're on the road instead of sleeping in a tent I had to remember how to edit the photos for articles. Yeah, it can be a little tricky remembering <laughs> that stuff when you hadn't done it in a while. Oh, Bob Barr's got uh, an article in the queue as well. That's oh, nice. another pistol. Yeah. There you go. I remember when that when that when it changed to twenty twenty two. I was like, I was doing photos, and I was like, oh, uh oh. That's like like three or four of my already public. I already edited and put it, and I was like, oh crap. Let's go in change yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. They're like 2021. God, he took this thing forever. My bad. All right. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna show this one too, just because I think the studio is coming along pretty well. And I just got so I got the big four by twelves and and the couple big amps and a couple little amps and little speakers and and then the the floor amp with a two by twelve and the racks of guitars over here and the pedal board. But the thing that I just got that's super cool to me is this mic stand that has a cell phone or tablet holder Ooh. because I'm still learning how to do all this stuff. So I have to have instructions like the all the different chord changes in a song scrolling on the phone and I can put it like right in front of me while I'm playing. Uh, so I'm pretty stoked about that. Things okay. things are coming along and I still suck but I have cool gear to play with. When's the first album coming out? Uh, <laughs> seriously? No. I'm just... You haven't bought my first album yet? I haven't seen it. Where's it advertised? Oh, was it only on the Gear Report website? My bad. Mm. I don't know if I will ever have an album. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I have not created an album yet. Okay, uh, but I am working on some songs to play when we get together next. Awesome. And at some point in the next couple of months, <laughs> at, at some point I will transition and spend a couple days learning chords on the ukulele so that I can bring that and Black serenade Sabbath. everyone. Black Sabbath on Black Sabbath the, and the ukulele. ukulele. Yep. All right, I'm going to work on that. I am going to work on that. That'll be good.
All right. With that, I think we're going to shut it down. Uh, if if you're okay with that, TJ. Are you, yeah. Are you good? I can't. Right. I can't see yeah, any we, comments coming up on the side, anyways. We we talked about everything that was published. We talked about Pretty stuff much. that's going to be published. We did very I minimal shit shooting. See, we're efficient sometimes. Some days we're efficient. Which is a little disturbing because there are lots of things that we should probably talk about. And, uh, you know, maybe we'll remember to do it next week. Um, but we've got some serious assault on the Second Amendment going on. Oh, yeah. That, that oh, my God. All right. So we do need to talk about this real quick. <laughs> Have you seen any of the con congressional testimony? Oh, where yeah. Congressmen and senators are sitting there. The stuff they're saying. It's, it's not even funny. It I know. It's so, so bad. Wrong. You know, like a pistol brace makes a makes an AR fire in full auto. It, it, yeah, like, makes it makes it a bump stock. Like, no, it doesn't. Right. It's like what? No. Yeah. The, so I've been watching all that stuff. People are passing laws or trying to pass laws based on one hundred percent factually incorrect, complete oh, yeah. fantasy BS. It's like. They just they just want them they just want them banned. That's all. They, they, however they do it, they don't care how they do it. They just want a ban. Whatever fear mongering or whatever they say, because they, they're not they're never going to learn what what they do or what any part of a gun is. They don't they don't care. They're like, oh, we're just going to get rid of them. That's right. their agenda. And if and and I think that the ends justify the means to them. And they say, well, so what if we're inaccurate and causing you know fear and panic over things that are 100 percent fictitious and untrue? If it achieves the goal of getting rid yep. of the evil firearms, exactly. then they're like, yeah, we don't care. Yeah. End game. It's all they, that's, that's what they do. Yeah. So I'll be at a uh, swim meet most of the day tomorrow just watching sitting in the stands with my laptop i have to remember to pack my laptop and take it with me oh, yeah. pack um, laptop. and that's something that will be on my agenda for tomorrow is looking up all of the different people that i need to um i emailed i emailed out. my uh represent my rep posey he emailed me back he goes oh no you're um, he goes i'm saying i'm staying with the 2a you, you guys are good and i'm like sweet that's all I want to hear. So now I got to move on to the other ones. Uh, ours, our reps over here, our reps over here are pretty good. It's the Tampa, Tallahassee, Orlando. Those, the you know, those, those, those reps are the ones that are like, oh no. Yeah. Well, and, and people get upset. You know, I've heard people say that, that it doesn't matter what someone's political leanings are, you should still be friends with them. And, you know, there, there, I've seen a number of points recently where I look at this and I'm like, you're trying to make me poor and unsafe. Right. Like, like take away my ability to protect myself from the criminals that have been emboldened by the policies that you keep exactly. pushing. You keep letting them out for no reason, and they keep committing more crimes because they know they're going to get out. And then you're going to take our means of protection away. Yeah, among among many other things. Um, oh yeah, I'm like, shouldn't I be angry with the people who keep voting for this? Like, can I actually be friends with people who keep campaigning and actively working to do this to me? Like, I don't think so. I, really I don't need can't. that kind of like, negativity I, in my life. There, there are some people that I've stopped talking to, that I don't interact with, that, you know, I, I will somewhat be polite if I need to, but it, it's getting real close to where I'm just going to make a public announcement. If this is the way you vote, if these are the things you're trying to do to our country, if this is what you're trying to do to the country that my kids are going to have kids in and are going to have to live in, then you're screwing my family and yeah. this is war and we can't be friends. Yeah. And people will say, you know, I'm sure that people will, will say that that's, you know, immature or whatever. And you got to be friends with people and it's their right to do whatever they want. I'm like, you know what, as long as it only impacts them, it's their right to do whatever. Right. They right. Want. When, it, when it was, the, when it was the other way we were all the, we were all the bad guys and you know, Oh, yeah, but but when they start doing things that do impact me, of course I right. have 
an interest in that and a right to be upset because they're oh, yeah. actively advocating for things that have a negative impact on me. Of course, that's going to make me angry. And I'm going to take that personally because they, sure, they have the right to vote for stupid shit if they want, but that doesn't mean I have to be happy about it. If they successfully pass stupid shit and it has a negative impact on me, of course, I'm going to be upset about that and upset with the people who made that sure. happen. Uh, and yet, yeah, the Second Amendment protects all the other laws, not just other amendments. It protects all the other laws, yeah. the Bill of Rights, oh, yeah. everything. Um, so, yeah, I, I, you know, I was talking to our wife a few days ago, and she got a little upset that I said, uh, I, I really don't see how, if things continue the way that they have been, I don't see how, like, our kids are going to get to. You know, by by the time they have kids that are that are the age of our kids now, you know, at 17 to 20 years from now, I, I, I don't see how we can get from where we are, the path we're on. I don't think we can make five years without a civil war, let alone 20. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of terrified because I feel like the liberals have this idea that it's their right to do whatever they want and we have to just take it and we can all right. still be friends because everyone has a right to vote for whatever and they're just going to keep pushing ridiculous stuff oh yeah until people finally say oh my god no if you're not going to stop on your own we're going to stop you and right. i want absolutely nothing to do with anything like that but I don't see how they can keep pushing and keep pushing and keep pushing. And that won't eventually happen. I just, I can't wrap my head around like, where do they think this is going to go? How do they really think they can just keep pushing and pushing? If they just keep voting for ridiculous stuff that there will be, that there will not be a day that, that a critical mass of people finally says enough already yeah. and does whatever they have to, to stop them. Yeah, so. no, I agree, and it's, I mean, the, you know, the the, the country's been get, been getting more and more divided, and the, you know, they keep you know they're coming up with the, uh, you know, all the the MAGA, the ultra MAGA, and you just you know villainizing everybody on the right, yep. versus you know, oh, the left is so great. I'm like, really, the left is great? We're five dollar a gallon gas and six dollar a gallon diesel, steaks yep. are fifteen dollars a piece. Yeah, awesome. It's fantastic. Yeah. And they're raising interest rates now to combat inflation. It's Which like we've made everything. the Fed printed trillions of dollars, which literally that is how you create inflation. That's the only way that you create inflation. Like the government creates inflation. Um, so they do that. And now because of this inflation, now they're going to make money more expensive for people and make it harder for them to get by as a means of controlling inflation. And I'm like, do you people never get enough of destroying people's lives and making things worse for them? I don't think they do. Apparently they don't. No. What do you think, Ghost? Ghost. What are we talking about? Uh, how jacked up the country is and how um oh, oh, man, don't get me slow. Uh, no, yeah just... like how deep do we get into this um uh i guess we'll yeah, see we after probably, november we probably don't even want to go down that that path but uh so so let's move on uh, i'll tell you what i mean it's it's eerily looking like a possible like if you look at where we are now versus where we were in 1860, some of the different causes and different things, economic crisis, complete division in the ranks of the government, all of this stuff, if you look at it, I'm not saying it's going to happen, but it, it looks pretty eerily similar to 1860, you know? Yep. And, and part of this kind of two-party system that we have um, is that the two parties are incentivized to incite 
see there's a word that politicians like to use lately incite the two parties incite their followers to hate each other oh yeah and and to attack each other and you know are they on trial for inciting all of this division no of course not because they're not going to take responsibility for what they're doing to actively destroy our country right but okay so so moving on from that the other topic i i wanted to bring up before i before we got off was the absolute insanity of the atf going and knocking on people's doors and saying or dispatching video. local law enforcement on behalf of the atf to go follow up on multiple handgun purchase reports hey, we just need to see the serial numbers and see that you still have them. Like, yeah, you don't have a right to do that. Right. I'll let you know if it happens to me. I'm, I'll be doing that next week. Well, so. and I worry uh, because... Your yeah. jurisdiction ends. Then was I legally allowed to possess these from the FFL? If the answer is yes... Yep. Yeah, the... the uh... That lawyer, the the Washington lawyer, he, he had a big thing on that. Uh, did, did a video on that today. He's like, nope, unless they have a warrant. Yeah. Say, have a nice day. Yeah. Which reminds me, I, I need to brief everyone in my household because I just filled one of those forms out because um, we, we saw last week I got all the guns in the review queue out and we talked about them. Mm -hmm. Well, a bunch of those were on... You know, I picked up five guns last time I was out at Quarter Horse Arms. So a multiple gun purchase report was filed. So that means they could show up here. What if they show up and I'm not here and one of my kids is here and it's oh, like, yeah. I, I got no idea. You know, my kids don't have Where access to my locked gun storage. You know, right. my wife doesn't know how to get into my secure gun room. So, I mean, what is she going to she would probably be scared and try to placate them and be like, well, I know they're up here somewhere. Maybe you can find them. And then that's like inviting them in to look for whatever. Like, even if you don't have anything to hide, they may right. find something and take it out of context or just find something that they are incorrect about Yeah, and hang you with it. There he is. Even if, even if it's something right. that they just screwed up. All right. They can find your meth lab. Man. He's got too many teeth for hard, that. How hard is it to make meth? Maybe, maybe that's what it's I should say. It's not that doing. hard. You've seen the people who make meth. I mean, come on. Right. But I'm saying that we have, uh, there are a number of jurisdictions in this country where it's almost like <laughs> they can just left. Stuff. Yeah, he must be having connectivity issues, yeah. or or he's just smart enough to go. Yeah, yeah. like did Jeff, just, did Jeff just uh, ask how to make meth on live stream? Like, eh, you know, well, I mean, but where I was going with that, I don't actually want to make meth, but I don't either. I wonder I about life. the way there, the way some jurisdictions are pursuing mm -hmm. this. You would think that making meth would be like a higher crime than legally purchasing you know guns that we're allowed to have and doing nothing wrong with no, them. they don't they don't they don't care about the drugs the but, drugs that's but some of these folks like just just because you purchase a firearm they'd like to put you under the jail yep. whereas yeah you know it's a drug addict they're addicted uh it's not their fault like yeah yep. i got news for you people don't get addicted until they make the choice to do something after yep. they made that choice, maybe they get addicted, but it starts with a choice. So that ain't yep. a medical condition, in my opinion. That's a poor choice. Ghost says, uh, "Signal all screwed up here." Sorry, yep. Honcho. See if you can get the. See if they have a. Uh, I've seen a couple of cigar stores. They have a uh, a Gurkha variety pack, of them, and they're like most of them. Are, I mean, most of them are pretty good. Mm. Ghost says. By the way, stream is not on your YouTube page, can't find it anywhere. Yep, I I really have got to do a better job of I, letting that's what people I was saying. know I was like, 
when I moved the stream over to the new Gear Report Firearms no. channel. Instead but it, it didn't it radio. didn't pop up like I, that's what I was looking on YouTube on if like if I go to my YouTube, it uh -huh. it didn't pop up there. But have have you subscribed and then done the notification on the Gear Report like you did the bell mm -hmm. and it still didn't mm -hmm. pop up? Interesting. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna have to think about how to do that because I really need to get more longer form content to to get more views, more view time, more watch time yeah. on the Gear Report Firearms channel specifically. So, um, so because of that, I really need to have it on the Gear Report Firearms channel, especially since that's mostly what we're talking about. Ghost is having connectivity issues, so there will be no ghost. With but us. the Gurk, but the Gurkha ghost is a good cigar. So there you go, triple ghost. Yeah. So so seriously, what <laughs> what would what would your wife do if the ATF showed up knocking on the door, and you weren't there, and they were all kitted up, three people, one of them at a, at a distance, like the like that one video. I don't know. That'd be a tough call. We have to have that chat. Hopefully she get the hopefully she would get the closet gawk, gawk right off the bat. Oh my goodness. And and sit there and be like, all right. Okay, man, something's rolling down. Get yeah. the get the dresser. Smith and Wesson. <laughs> <laughs> Go back and get the nice stand H and K. But then... but in all but in all seriousness, I I fear yeah, I have no idea. that I'm the only person in my house that would be willing to look them in the eye and say, thanks for stopping by. Have a nice day. Oh, well, yeah, in a second. yeah. You can excuse yourself from the property now. Yeah. Have a nice day. Well, I know, I know K man would. K man would be like, see ya. Just she probably be like, Oh, Hey, have a nice day. Shut the door in their face. I'd be like, that a boy. <laughs> I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah, it's been absolutely crazy watching those videos and thinking, what are these people? Did you see? The, did you see the uh, video where the ATF agent was taking pictures of the uh, the forty four seventy three? Yes, <laughs> I was like, that's kind of ballsy. Like, hmm, look at that. And, and if you like, read a little bit about me. that, the guys, the guy was saying that that she did like there were over four thousand records in that A and D book, and mm -hmm. she she captured every bit of it. And that's like pure illegal. Like they are yeah. not allowed to do that. And he said, yeah, you're not allowed to do this. And she, yeah, I'm doing it anyway. And I'm telling you, that would have been a call to the sheriff right there. Hey, yep. sheriff, here's what's going down. Uh, Y'all need to get out here and do something about this. I, I, down here, Ivy would have been like, I'll take care of this. Yeah. <laughs> you just you just come outside, get you a beer, hang out and watch the show. I'd be like, all right, we're good. <laughs> We got, we got them Florida shares, man. Yeah, so they may have direction to check into multiple gun purchases. That's what they're that saying. That doesn't mean that they have the right to come to your house. They, nope. they unless they sus have reason to suspect you. Again, I'm not I'm not an attorney. I didn't stay at a Holiday Inn Express. But my understanding of this is unless they have a specific reason to think that you, not just people in general, not like, hey, we know someone around here must be doing this, but <laughs> like they have reason to think it's you, then they have no right to show up and ask right. you questions like that. Like they can do what what was uh, what was Rod saying last week? Uh, knock and talk or something. Um, yeah, they can casually do that, but the moment you yep. say you can leave now, please leave. They have to, yeah. um, it, because they're fishing. Because if they had they're anything fishing. on exactly. you, they'd have a warrant. So clearly, if they're there without a warrant, they don't have any evidence. They're yep. they're just fishing like, expedition. Yeah, yeah, and you know what? I don't like fishing. Fishing's boring. Especially when they're fishing for for a way to try Arrest to hang me, me for something <laughs> right. that I didn't do, you know? Right. Like, you know what? There are people out there doing really shady, shitty stuff. You know, we have human trafficking going on 
in this country, all over the world, we, oh, yeah. we've got, um, you know, a child sex ring that was busted. I know. It, and they've still suppressed everyone. I haven't seen, it, still haven't seen a client it. list on that one yet. Right. I'm waiting. Wait right. for the client like, list There one are day. real issues out there for terrible, terrible things that are not just have happened, but like they're suppressing it all and literally not doing anything about it but then they want to go harass people who are following the law and doing yeah. things that they're allowed to do like whatever yeah. it, hard hard to respect anyone who who chooses to to do that you know i mean everyone's got to have a job and feed their family right you got to do shady crap like that like yeah, yeah but I'm, I'm not gonna do i'm not gonna do any shady stuff to feed my family you know, I would change jobs. So they give like, oh, he need to do this. I'd be like, eh, I'm out of here. That's not right. Yeah. Yeah. I was subscribed to the airport firearms channel and saw that it was live, then clicked on it. Okay, good. So I'd be curious, Hacho, if you okay. also click the little um, notification bell thing in YouTube and if that popped up and proactively told you. Yeah, anything. that's what I'm saying. I'm trying. That's what I'm trying yeah. to pull up. Let's see. Let me see. Hold I don't on. Think... Maybe it refreshed. I don't think I had any indication here, but because I'm the account owner, maybe it doesn't tell me. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I don't see anything on my notifications about that. So who knows? Um, but it's good to know that at least someone saw something. Yeah, here's a number for my attorney. Yeah. Honcho, save the day. Yep. All right, so, so I think now we can shut the show down. Yeah, we've covered everybody some of those contact your freaking representatives. Do something. Yeah, just bug yeah. them a little bit, and and have a talk with the people in your household and the people that you know, so that if someone shows up and tries to illegally go on a fishing expedition to try to find something that they can charge them with, um right wrong or indifferent you know be sure they're armed yeah. with the appropriate information so that they don't get steamrolled by some uh overreaching bureaucrat who is trying to make a political name for themselves by hanging some some innocent citizens right. who just happen to have purchased some firearms yeah all right with that we're gonna shut it down all right so until next time, see you at the range.